Hello guys. Um I'll show you guys a plant I got today. I got some uh, giant veil. It's pretty cool. I got it at a good price, so and um I took in all my baby angel fish that I had in the five gallon and my plipdress and I got some store credit, so that was nice. Um so yeah, um I'm gonna get some more touchers very soon. Um well, not very soon. Probably as soon as I get more gravel for this tank and uh, get the 55 going. Um, which is coming along. Um, Electric Blue Jack Dempsey is in here. He's actually in that cave. <laughs> um, I also wanted to show you guys. Which got some new plants for the uh, 29 gallon. Actually, just a couple. So I got the... The... Uh, so Red Lotus, or yeah, Red Lotus, I think is what it was called. So I got that. It doesn't have a bulb on it yet, so I'm, the, the person at the fish store told me it will eventually uh, get a bulb. And I got some more, I got some, I had a, the bunch that I just showed you of the uh, Giant Veil. These three bunches are from that bunch as well. Uh, I was only able to put these three bunches in here, so I like that. I like the way that looks. Um, and then, uh, let me see, hold on, it was Pleco Smarts who asked, um, who asked what ferts and substrate do I use in this tank? Um, this tank, I'm guessing he's referring to this tank, um, this tank I use uh, for fluorite substrate and then um, I don't exactly know what f uh, f the other ferts, ferts mean I think that means like um, fertilizer uh, sea chem so um, I do inject CO2 in this tank as well so um, also show you guys Okay, so you guys probably won't be able to see it, which I'm going to get out of light. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I can put this down for a quick second. Okay, now you guys can probably see it. Okay, so the 5.5 gallon. As you can see, no more angelfish. It's just got the reservoirs in it. This will be eventually into, uh, be made into a planted tank. So, uh, let's just kind of keep, be, have these guys in here. Um, because I think I'm going to probably get some more, uh, uh, fluorite for this tank. Because, uh, let me go show you guys the. So, oof, the, uh, oof, substrate in here, um, I'm not going to use in the 5.5 because, uh, um, I don't have enough of it for the, uh, tank, so, um, I think this is just, it's going to stay in here, I'm going to keep a couple plants in here, um, because I have some runners for my dwarf sag, um, so I might put some of that in there. And then I've got these little goofballs that will go in this tank to grow out. So got eleven of them, doing good. Um, so yeah, really excited. Um, Oh yeah, and then I got a new peacock for that for the 55. Um, would show him off, but I just uh, kind of rearranged the tank, and uh, it's kind of cloudy, so you really wouldn't be able to see him. So, uh, new Cory Cat's doing really good, the rare one. He actually looks really cool. I actually like him. So I had to I mean, someone uprooted that, obviously. So everything's doing good. Took the, this crap right here, 
is from the 29. I took it out because uh, uh, I thought it would look nice in here. So, so yeah, I will this filter. I'm hoping to not use this this tank because. I'm afraid the fry would get sucked up, so I'll probably use a small fun sponge filter that I have, so. So everybody's doing good. Um, don't know if the albino uh, sword tail's uh, pregnant yet or not, so. It'll be cool when she gives birth. When she is pregnant, anyway. So. Um. So, yeah, uh. I have to, I'm going to maybe tomorrow, um, if my mom doesn't have to work tomorrow, I'm going to have her help me set up the, uh, um, the, uh, canister filter for the 55, cause, um, that tank just, it, it's just, I'm, Getting really frustrated with the filtration on that tank, so I want to get it good, give it good filtration. I'm gonna eventually get a UV sterilizer for that tank, um, cause it's just, I don't know if it's just, I think it's getting green water, so because it's always looking kind of just icky, so and then I'm gonna add up my male bristle nose and from the 29 to the 55, so you can kind of clean up all the algae that's in there, so so yeah. Uh, I think that's it for these couple of tanks. Uh, but the tank is doing good. Um, so yeah, everybody's doing good. Um, oh yeah, and then, you know what the heck he is, and now he's up in the corner. Well, did add uh, the, one of the angelfish that were in the five gallon into this tank. Um, if he does keep, you know, if he gets beat on a bit, quite a bit, then I'll probably just get rid of him, because, um, I really don't have any other place to put him, <laughs> so, otherwise I'd keep him, but, I'm happy with the fish I got in here, so, so, originally my plan was to, uh, get more than what I got today, but, uh, the guy who I was supposed to meet today, his truck, wasn't starting, so, which kind of sucks, but oh well. At least I was able to get some store credit, so. So yeah, um, my next trip to that same store, because uh, I won't be, sorry, I won't be doing any uh, videos of Fantastic Fins um, for a while, because, uh, my grandma, um, actually, is, ever since the accident, she's been really shooken up. Uh, she even gets nervous every time she goes on the highway, so, um, I don't think we'll be going there for a while. Uh, so I'll, hopefully, either next week, I can, uh, take the fire eel to, uh, a place that I went to today, so, get some store credit for him, because, uh, he's, uh, he, he kind of destroyed some of the rock work I had in the 55 that I, that's why I had to redo the 55 a bit, so. So yeah, everybody's doing good. Um, I think this tank's pretty much docked. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is get, put the one cork out that's in the 2.5, once it gets a little bigger, put it in here, and then, uh, Get another female bristle nose, and I think that'll be about it. And I might move the whiptail catfish into the 30, but I haven't quite made up my mind on that. So, so yeah, everything's doing good. Oh yeah, here he is. Right there, that little goofball. It's doing good. A little picked down by this goofball, but not too bad. So, so yeah, um, got lots of runners from the dorsage, so this tall dorsage I trimmed and I when I pulled it up to move it or whatever it's got a runner already so <laughs> actually two runners so. so yeah quite excited about that um there was a guy that uh, had some plants some crypts for the sale I don't think I'm gonna get any more crypts I think I'm good on crypts so plus he wanted 
think 20 bucks for a whole bunch and I really only need a couple so I don't really want you know I think he was asking let's see I think 12 for maybe it's 20 for 20 bucks I don't know and you know, I just didn't need that many so so yeah everything's doing good lots of runners um also um since no one really um kept guessing on the type of eel that I got it's a black spotted eel so it's in the 30 gallon he's doing good he's eating blood worms and stuff so same as the one in the 55 just smaller so once he's a good size then he will move be moved in the 55 and so yeah um everybody's doing good uh actually the two male angelfish are actually getting along they do occasionally but they'll, they'll challenge each other but that's pretty much about it their fins are healing so so yeah i think that's it um uh, so yeah if you guys have any questions or um uh, just leave a comment below and if you want a shout out i can do a shout out so, oh yeah, and then I'll, tomorrow I'll do a video because there's a big surprise that, uh, that I'm excited about. But I probably won't be doing anything, uh, with it just because, um, or about it because I don't have the money, so, <laughs> quite yet, so. So yeah, everybody's doing good. Um. And then, uh, let me know what you guys think I should do with the 5.5 gallon. Um, uh, let me get some more of this. Just like a full bag, but I only use part of it, so. Uh, yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching.